Andrew Clayton here. I'm here at the Weed FTS compound. I'm going to show you some tips for circus dumbbell. So circus dumbbell is a unilateral event in strongman. Uh, and one of the biggest issues is being able to express your power uh, and maintain position. And you can really practice that just at a normal gym. So I'm just going to grab a 50 pound dumbbell and I'm going to hold it in position in the rack. And I'm going to add a count here so that I have a pause. And I have a slight lean. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the dumbbell over the center of my body. And I can add a pause at the bottom. And I'm not going to let my elbow change position. And then hold at the top. And hold again. So every time I'm holding, I'm trying to enforce that position. So both in the rack position, so elbow is up. The dumbbell is over the middle of my body. I'm looking slightly away. Same thing in the pause and the dip. And then I finish with head through and I get a down call from the judge. So the problem is when you go heavy in circus dumbbell, is a lot of people will dip too quick, and when they do that, they lose the elbow position. So in circus dumbo, you don't need to dip quickly, you need to maintain position. So by having a pause here and a pause here, you're enforcing that and strengthening that position, and then you're also teaching yourself that you really only need to be powerful coming out of the bottom. Okay, so you don't need to go quick down and compromise elbow going down, it's just maintain that position. And again, you can train that with such a light weight that you can train it more frequently in the week, and the cool thing about having a normal gym dumbbell, which this is really nice dumbbell, is since it's a smaller diameter, it actually increases the range of motion you have to press it. So now you're getting stronger in a greater range of motion. You're spending more time in all those positions where you could weak power. Um, so you're really kind of like completing everything that needs to be done in circus dumbbell. And you could utilize this in your training either as like a skill day or a light day, and that could go all the way up into competition. Or you could start your prep we're doing really light work like this and build from having a lot of pauses to a lot less pauses. So I call it uh, basically peeling away the fuses. So I could add a fuse by pausing here, pausing here, pausing here, and then I just take one of those away. So I don't pause in the rack, I only pause at the bottom. And then I take all the pauses away except the lockout. And now I've basically essentially been able to increase the load that I'm using right before competition. And then I do it exactly like competition, which would be clean the rep, quick, hold, down, and repeat that. So. Try pauses uh, to help your positioning in every lift, including strongman events.